Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting episode of Podcasting Advisor and it's my birthday today. I am 50 years of age today so I'm very very excited and I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, I thought he was 60. I can't believe he's only 50. Yeah, I'm 50 years old today. It's taken an age to get here. I've been looking forward to it for literally 50 years. And I am, in fact, 50 today. So it's my birthday episode of um, Podcasting Advisor. And um, for those of you that don't know me, um, I'm known as Dr. Pod. That's spelled out D-O-C-T-O-R-P-O-D. Uh, not D-R-P-O-D. That's that's what I'm known as, uh, known as on, on Twitter, Dr. Pod. Um, I'm from Brighton in the UK, which is right sort of if you draw a, a straight line, uh, a straight line down from London where it hits the coast, that's uh, that's Brighton. And I'm a podcast producer, and um, yeah, that's, that's that's what I do. Amongst the other, I, I do a bit of development and stuff like that, but that's basically what I do. I'm a podcast producer, and uh, the idea of this podcast is to help people to produce, or well, to start producing podcasts, and to produce even better podcasts. Um, so that's what I'm here to do. And today, uh, it's a bit different because I'm actually videoing myself. Um, something I'm not used to. I've, you know what they say, you've got a face for radio. Uh, that's me. So I'm a bit I'm a bit funny about videoing myself. But what I'm going to do is I thought I'd video it because A, it's my birthday, and B, um, I wanted to kind of be able to show you visually what I'm up to. And I think on the video, you should be able to see what I'm, what I'm actually up to. Um, it is actually a mic off. It's another mic off today um, because I, you, know, you, you hear me harping on all the time about um, the difference between condenser mics or, uh, and um, dynamic mics. So I thought what I'd do, having having recently taken um, uh, receipt, is that the right word, of um, a high old PR40, which is a bit, I've been wanting to get for, for ages, I thought I'd play it off against uh, what what really I used to consider, and I still, I still do consider um, to uh, a, a large degree, my other favourite mic, which is the um, SE Electronics. This is where I have to look at the label now. The SE 2200T. Okay, and I'm doing the same thing that I did before in the previous podcast. I've got both mics set up. I'm talking into both of them at the same time, and I've got the the condenser mic, the SE uh, that I just said, the the 220T, going into channel one, which is the left channel, and I've got the the Heil, which is the dynamic mic, the new mic, uh, going into channel two, which is actually the right channel, and we'll be able to see the waveform. Uh, if I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, for the benefit of those watching on video, and I will embed this video into the um, the post. So if you hop along to podcastingadvisor.com on this post, third of January, uh, as well as the audio, you will see a YouTube video embedded, and you can see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so there we go. So uh, what I've got on my screen at the moment, and I will make this visible on the video, is uh, the waveforms of both mics. So I've got the, the the SE, the condenser mic, on the top, which is the left channel, and I've got the, the Heil, which is the dynamic mic, on the bottom channel. And for those of you on the video, uh, you can see the waveforms actually look incredibly similar. What I've done is I've had to boost the signal from the Heil a bit and reduce the signal from the condenser a bit just to get them sort of the same amplitude because all these different mics have different characteristics and the output from the condenser mic because it has its own special transformer which you actually can't see on the video it's just over there it's like a box it plugs into and that plugs into the mains and then from the box the XLR cable just comes out and it's going into my faithful Eddyroll uh, UA25EX interface Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, just for a sort of um, uh, sort of a, a, a test, if you like, I'm going to switch between mics. Now, that's something I'm going to do in post-production. So I'll just say I'm switching, but I actually won't switch until post-production. And then you'll hear just the one mic, then the other mic. At the moment, you're listening to the new Heil. This is the Heil mic you're listening to now. And what I'm going to do, just for um, a comparison of what it sounds like, I'm just about to switch over so you're actually listening through the SE Electronics. I'm going to do that now. Kajing! You're now listening to me through the SE Electronics. I've got both mics set up very close to each other. I'm using a single pop filter 
uh, which embarrassingly has got a ladder in it. It's very embarrassing when you ladder your pop filter because uh, it's made of like, like stocking material. And you're, you're, yes, you're now listening to me through the SE. Now, the thing about um, the difference between condenser mics and dynamic mics is that as a rule, now, d- d- just bear with me because I'm not like a a mega mega mic expert i'm just incredibly interested in mics and i've only been doing this for um, since about 2006 so i'm not like like, i'm not like a guru so if you disagree with me feel free to disagree with me but basically um condenser mics what they're really really good at is getting the lovely sort of uh, detailed top end which you might be able to hear as as i do some very top endy sounds diddly 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 that's the useless um experiment because the human voice can't go that high uh but if i like ting by teacup even that's not very high, but that, that will be coming through really nice. And also really good at bass, a really nice dynamic range, really detailed. But the thing that they fall down on is they tend to pick up a lot of background noise. And you you may or may not be able to hear background noise. There's not a massive amount of background noise going on at the moment. My wife's upstairs on the phone. You might hear her. It's a wet, miserable day here in Brighton on the 3rd of January. It's just gone half past 12. There's traffic out the front, so you can hear like that the horrible wet traffic noise. You might be able to hear it. Cars come past now and again. But this is what it sounds like on the on the on the SE, the condenser mic. I'm now going to switch over to the Heil. This is just the objective test, and I'll do some slightly more scientific tests in a minute. So let's now switch over to the Heil. Kajunk, and we're now listening through the Heil. Now the Heil is a dynamic mic. It's a really nice dynamic mic. It has a large diaphragm. Now normally with dynamic mics, you don't get quite the top end, and you don't quite get the bottom end. Uh, but the thing that dynamic mics are really good at is rejection. That means that background noise, they tend not to pick up so much. Now, I don't know. This is all very experimental. There's no sm- there's no smoke or mirrors going on here. But basically, I don't know whether or not you can tell just from listening. And you need to be listening on decent headphones. This will not be coming through on the video. If you're watching on the video, have a listen to the audio. It's the best way of doing it. But it should, in theoretically, uh, not be picking, picking up as much background noise... But, because it's the Heil PR40, it should be almost as good, in theory, as the the condenser mic, the SE Electronics, at getting those lovely detailed highs. Let's ping my cup again, as he knocks the whole apparatus. You probably heard that, that's my cup. And it should get a nice deep bass on my voice as well, similar to the, the condenser mic. But you shouldn't be picking up so much background noise. And what I'm now going to do is an experiment. Uh, the first experiment I'm going to do, and we're still listening on the Heil here, is I'm going to move away from the mic about to about 18 inches, and I want to see how much the waveform changes. Right, well, I'm now 18 inches from the mic, and what I'm seeing here, very interestingly, is kind of what I predicted. By looking at the waveform, and you'll see this on the video, I am noticing that the waveform from the condenser mic is actually bigger than the waveform from the Heil which is consistent with what I would expect because the Heil is better at rejecting background noise, apparently, than the condenser mics. So this is, so far, this is looking quite good. Uh, The difference is very, very subtle. If I move away even more, I'm now about two feet away from the mics. Again, I'm seeing a slightly bigger signal on the condenser mic and a slightly smaller one on the Heil, so that's, that's pretty good. Um, let's um, switch now to listening on this is for the audio people only listening on the condenser mic the SE so I'm going to switch back to the SE now Kajing we're back now on the SE and I'm going to perform a slightly more scientific experiment I'm going to create some annoying background noise in the form of a Christmas carol now I know how much we hate Christmas carols um, just after Christmas so this should be really annoying I want to see how much it comes out on the mic so here we go right it's not. It's by my mouth. It's playing on my iPhone, and I'm just going to put it on the desk. And I just wonder how much you can hear that on the uh, SE, which is what we're listening to now. So I'll just shut up for a second. Now I can't see anything on the waveform, so it's a really subtle noise. Okay, so you can hear how apparent or not apparent that is. Let's switch over to the Heil. So here we go now, Kajing. We're now listening on the Heil. I'll shut up and see if you can hear that singing as clearly as you could with the condenser. 
And of course, this whole experiment could go horribly wrong, and I could just prove that the mics are actually indifferent to each other. Which will be a result. Let's have another listen. Okay, right, let's stop the experiment. Let's get rid of that annoying background music. And that's it. So I just wanted to show you the difference between the Heil PR40 and a high quality condenser mic, which is what the uh, the SE Electronics is, the um, the 2200T. And that pretty much wraps it up for today. A couple of things I want to just say um, towards the end is the price of these mics, which I nearly forgot to mention. The the SE Electronics, and we're still listening on the Heil now. In fact, I'll, I'll just stay on the Heil for the rest of the show because that's probably going to become a main mic. The uh, the cost of the SE uh, 220T in the UK is approximately £360 plus VAT. The cost of the Heil, I had to order mine from America. I think I paid £199 plus a bit of duty as they came in. So the Heil is slightly cheaper, but it'll be interesting to see how it compares in, in terms of quality. So that's that's the price of them. And um, that is it. So I would really be interested in your feedback on this. Um, if you hop along to the website, podcastingadvisor.com, that's O-R at the end, advisor, American spelling, you can put comments on there. There is a feedback number, which I, I do apologise, wasn't working for a while, but I've mended it now. It's a plus four four if you're outside the UK, or zero one two seven three two five six zero six four. Um, if you want to send an MP3 file, that's fine. Keep it short, though, if you can. Uh, don't forget that I'm a podcast consultant, so I do post-production consultancy, planning, voiceovers, all that kind of stuff. So you can get a hold of me if you want me to do any of that kind of stuff for you. If you want to Skype me, I'm AT White, AT White, AT W H I T E. Uh, you can call me on 07974822183, that's my mobile, or just send me an email, andy at podcastingadvisor.com. And one last thing I just would like to say is, as my wife comes clippity cloppity down the stairs, which you may or may not hear, um, is I have been training for the last, well, for the last year really, but seriously for the last six months, uh, to run the Brighton Marathon and the Brighton Half Marathon. And the biggest birthday present you could give me today is to sponsor me on on one or even both. That'd be fantastic if you could of those. And I'll put links to the Just Giving and the Virgin Giving pages um, actually on on the blog post. So just hop along to Podcasting Advice or uh, if you want to donate, brilliant. Just follow the links and that'd be absolutely fantastic. And that's it. So um, hope you enjoyed the show. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching me on video. Um, I'm a bit stiff on video, but never mind. And um, yeah, I I hope you found the whole thing very um, useful and interesting. And it will be interesting to see how this all comes out because I do throw these shows together, you know. You know, I, I, I spend at least one or two minutes planning them. Anyway, have fun. Have a great 2012. I trust you had a fantastic Christmas. And I sincerely wish you uh, a prosperous, um, healthy, uh, goal-setting, um, pretty awesome um, 2012. So I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Have fun, folks. Goodbye. Goodbye.